headquarters after a night of waiting. The November matchups are set. But one candidate for governor isn't conceding. The 8 News Now I team's David Charns here with a breakdown of the numbers and what Joey Gilbert is saying on social media. David? Yeah, Brian Denise, Joey Gilbert standing right here during our gubernatorial debate. He lost the race to Clark County Sheriff Joe Lombardo. You see here by about 10 points. Joe Lombardo doing very well here in Clark County, carrying the county by more than 20 points. Even up here in Washoe County, where Joey Gilbert is from, Gilbert leading by just three points. Now, last night in a Facebook post, he appeared to be challenging the results, saying in part, I smell a lawsuit. Now, we reached out to Gilbert's campaign today and did not hear back, so we don't know if he will request a recount. If Gilbert or any other candidate decides to request a recount, here are the rules here in Nevada. They are not automatically triggered. The candidate has three working days from when the election is certified statewide to request a recount and unique to us, they do have to pay the cost of that recount. So when we talk about November, it will be Governor Sisolak against Sheriff Lombardo. Let's talk about the other big race here last night. Former Attorney General Adam Laxalt, the winner in the Republican nomination to run against Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Masto. Is he here Laxalt beating his opponent Sam Brown by more than 20 points? All that red here shows just how strong Laxalt was here uh, winning in every single county except one here all the way north in uh, Douglas County and Sam Brown only won by one percentage point there. So for the race in November, we're talking about Senator Cortez Masto against Adam Laxalt. Her campaign already out with an ad blasting the results today. So now more money will flow into our state. We're going to see a lot more ads because both Democrats and Republicans fighting for these seats. Denise.